Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to invite any kids that are here this morning to come and join me. Have any of y'all gone on vacation yet this, this summer? You have? Did any of you go to the beach yet? Not yet? We're going soon. And you want to know one of my favorite things to do at the beach? Look for seashells. That is my very favorite thing to do. I love to walk up and down the beach and see. And do you know the best time of day to go look for seashells? First thing in the morning. You have to let the water come up high and then go back down. And then before everyone gets out there and steps on all of them, and you got to go out early in the morning and look. And I'm going to tell you a story about a woman named Peggy. And uh, she loved to go look for seashells just like me. And she and her friend would go out looking. And they would go out to the beach, and they would decide to walk opposite directions, looking for shells, and then meet back up together. And so they both walked in opposite directions, and then they came back, and Peggy's bag was full of shells. And her friend's looking at it going, what? how do you have all these shells? I only have two shells in my hand. Her friend only had two little shells. And so they started comparing well, Peggy's friend had only picked up the perfect shells. If it was broken or chipped or had a hole bored into it, she threw it out. Whereas Peggy picked up everything, even if it was just a little chip of one. And Peggy's friend laughed at her and said, what would you want to do with all of those broken shells? Like, why would you pick up a bunch of broken shells? And, and Peggy's friend said, or Peggy said, are you kidding? Look at this one. This one's chipped. You see that chip on it? But look at that beautiful pattern that it has on it. And this one, it has a little hole in it. You see that little hole? But look, doesn't that almost look like it's fading from white to orange to tan, right? And so Peggy was going, I mean, I know that there's, they've got things wrong with them. That they're beautiful. Some of them catch the light really pretty. And if you find a sand dollar that's broken, you can see that little dove shape inside of it. Well, I was thinking about what Jesus would do if he walked down the beach looking for seashells. Do you think Jesus would be the type to look for the perfect shells, or would he pick up all the little pieces? And I started thinking about the stories that I know about Jesus where he healed the blind, or he found the people that had sores on their body and healed them. And it kind of sounded to me like Jesus is looking for the broken people. And I think that that's right. Jesus is not looking for perfect people. If he was looking for perfect people, he wouldn't find any. He is looking at all of us, and we're all broken and damaged in different ways, but he only sees the beauty inside of us. He does not see that little hole or that little chip. He sees how the light shines on us, how beautiful we are, and all the things that we have to offer the world. And so we have to remember not to get hung up on our faults, but to remember that God sees us for how wonderful we are. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for seeing the beauty inside each one of us. And teach us to look at others that way and to see the beauty in them and not to focus on their imperfections. It's in your name that we pray. Amen.